Greetings! Welcome to Daika's Car Toy. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, before we start on my program, I just want to greet all father in the world. Happy Father's Day! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, before I'm gonna start on my program, I have a I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for support. And we have another vehicle from Philippine Island. One of the iconic two, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm excited to show it to you. But first, the reason why I'm showing to you this month of those old vehicles from Philippine Island, because June 12, I believe they declare Independence Day. Okay, So I just want to uh, show you those vehicles from Philippine Island. So they celebrating uh, their Independence Day on June 12, I believe. I don't know what year because uh, I know, you know what? June 12, they declare independence from Spain. Okay, let's start on my beautiful vehicle that I want to present with you. <laughs> beautiful. Okay. Ah. Uh, There you go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This is a tricycle, or trike, we call it. Okay, or tricycle back home in the Philippine Island. Beautiful, nicey, nicey. Okay, watch the each them terrible time. We're gonna show you more detail of this kind of vehicle. But right now, we're gonna dissect it. What kind of motor are these, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? This one is a tricycle from Philippine Island. A motorcycle was being connected by I by a uh, sidecar on it. This one is totally a uh, uh, Filipino creativity. Creativity. There you go. There you go. So this is the operator we're sitting. You can put three people over here. Usually they use. Uh, Four kind of motorcycle over there. They have the Honda, Kawasaki, Suzuki, and four. What's the other one? I forgot. Honda, Kawasaki, Suzuki, Yamaha. There you go. Those are the four brand motorcycle in the Philippine Island. On my time, but now I hear there's a lot of more brand came out. Okay. The size of the engine of this one. Um, um, the smallest is 100cc. I think the biggest is around 250, probably that's maximum 250. There you go. And you can put some luggages over here, ladies and gentlemen. And other, remember, each provinces or each places they have their own style of motorcycle, ladies and gentlemen. Some motorcycle they take off this back, the luggages. Instead luggages, they put another seating area in there. So it means the seating area over here and sitting over here, they're going to they gonna extend the roof like that. And they're going to put another seating like this and you have back-to-back -back, uh, passengers. So you can put four or five passengers over here because there's another passenger sitting in the side over here over here over here. there there so one two three four five six seven eight person believe it or not eight person on this uh trike small trike uh imagine you have only 100 cc <laughs> motorcycle pulling all those person it's very simple you know when during rainy season they put some tarf tarf in the side tarf over here tarf over here tarf over there and tough in the back so the passenger won't get wet. You know, remember, Philippine Island is a rainy country. There you go. They have a basic thing, you know. You see the motorcycle most of the time. You have turn signal light, the headlights, and you have speedometer. Usually, they have a sun visor over here. You know, the classic one. Beautiful, nicey, nicey. And they have a design over there. Philippines and over here too. See those design? 
Philippines and they put see those things. This one is metal. Those, these ones are metal. The plastic of this one is just the this one, the back mirror, uh, the, the back window and the front window. Those are plastic. Most, most of this metal. Or some some of them are hard plastic. Like this one is the hard plastic, but this one's metal. Metal, metal. And the motorcycle is like a hard plastic or metal. Um, okay. Okay, let's check it out. If this beautiful pickle gonna turn. And please watch the turn table time and we're gonna talk about this one. It's rolling beautiful. It's rolling nicey, nicey. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I just want, uh, before I'm going to end my program, and I just want to remind everybody, happy Father's Day again to all father. And second, I'm just giving again uh, for back, uh, back injury awareness. Just always be careful, ladies and gentlemen, about your back. We have only one back. Back, I mean the spine. or And if you're going to leave something, always... Use the biggest muscle we got, the legs. Bend our knees. No bending on the back, like you're, you know, you're reaching out. If you're carrying something, please bend your knee. And as much possible, please, what you're carrying, close to you. So you can use all the leverage of your knee, the strength, not the back. Because once you're going to break your back or injure your back, there's no cure on it. going to be there forever. And you're gonna be on and off, on and off. You're gonna heal now. The you're gonna um, relieve the pain. Then when you start mistaking again, because you're getting ah, I feel, uh, I feel better. I can do this. You know? But if you're not using the proper technique of lifting, then you're gonna hurt it again. Is that's a chronic back injury. It it means your the pain, the back injury is always. Uh, it's no healing process. It's just get better. Then if you got did the mistake again, you're gonna go back. Same. That's my back problem. I have a chronic back injury. Right now, uh, I, I you know most of the time get this from work because I'm getting um, not using my uh, properly body mechanic. So since I hurt myself, I'm always trying to use the properly. Body mechanics, sometimes there's a situation that uh, you cannot avoid. It's happen. You know, even though how you be careful, it's always happen. Anyway, I just want to remind everybody, please, 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 if you're going to ride, always be dependent. Bye.